I don't want to be a product of my environment. I want my environment to be a product of me. Prestige Living Podcast. So with that, who do you want to be? Hello, welcome to Prestige Living. This is Jay O'Brien with another segment of Be Bold. Today's topic focuses on a more offensive approach to life versus a defensive approach to life. And here's exactly what I mean by that. It's no secret, <clears throat> it's no secret, and I'm sure we can all agree, that we're much more likely to go to the ends of the earth to save money than to earn money. And think about it. <clears throat> You'll do more to make money sure that you don't lose $100 much more than you will to go out of your way to go earn $100, right? Think about that for a second. You'll do more so you don't lose $100 versus going out and earning $100. And if that's not enough, think about this. Think about the last time that you went to download an app on your iPhone and it cost two or three bucks and you're like, eh, never mind. Or the time you heard the Pandora commercial come on and you're like, oh, I could totally upgrade that and it would cost me next to nothing, but I won't. You're keeping your money. You're defensive of your money. We want to prevent money from slipping away from us versus going out and just earning more of it. And to expand even further on that, we want to prevent not only money-related deficits, but also we want to throw up defensive behavior when it comes to social behavior. So we assume all the time that people are after us. They're going to cheat us. They rip us off. They steal from us, hurt us, whatever it is. And we want to make damn sure it does not happen. So what happens? In turn, we just don't open ourselves up ever to anything that can make us feel a little bit vulnerable, enough at least for this sort of behavior to occur. And if you think about it, it's actually kind of scary. It's kind of sad because if we're focusing so much on these negatives that we're we're actually manifesting that level of anxiety and that level of fear and isolation rather than just growing into something more positive and more influential. We'll spend much, much, much more energy to avoid something negative than we will to earn something positive. So this really got me thinking and rather than all of us siloing ourselves from potential bad, why don't we just go out and do more good? Then perhaps people won't feel so damn scared all the time that we're all going to hurt each other and we can flood the world with something a little bit more positive. And I realize that that might be a little bit utopian of an idea, but I think that if everyone were to contribute something a little bit more positive, then maybe one day people will start to feel a little bit more comfortable and let their guards down. And when you go say hi to somebody at a store or in the street, it's not so weird. It's not so, oh my God, why'd they just say hi to me? It's just, oh, they're a person and I'm a person and we can say hi to each other. And another defensive example that I've been thinking about recently revolves around the idea of giving. And I know we talk a lot about that on the show and um, I'm a big proponent of giving and you know there's countless charities and foundations and causes that you can contribute to and help other people and that's great Um, we make that a very big part of our business and I make it a habit of mine personally and I like to do it often but what about these people who are always getting the people that are receiving what we're giving them and that could be children who are being supervised through social services, um, the homeless that are sleeping outside that we give to, or, or families that are just simply struggling financially in our own backyard that we're helping. And yeah, you know, we can give, we can give to them until we're blue in the face and that's great. But again, if you think about it, we're focusing on the defense, you know, defend them from current and future harm by giving to them, provide for them. But at what point do we realize that perhaps maybe it'd be more beneficial and the most beneficial for these groups to be taught and encouraged and assisted to do these things on their own and even more one day have the ability to go give back themselves to other people? You know, there is an enormous amount of power in being able to play offense rather than always being on the defense both physically and mentally. So when you give to other people, you you know, you know feel good, you feel warm, and you start to build momentum. Your confidence grows. And with that, you become stimulated to go out and do more good. And this is something that not only we should be doing for others, but others should be doing to learn for others as well, and so on and so forth. And so the system goes and goes and grows and grows. So When you find yourself constantly searching for ways to block out the bad, maybe instead just project out the good. 
You know, acts of kindness or even just a simple smile on your face is a great start to begin paying it forward. And then allow the cycle to continue. Kill the defense, be offensive, and be bold. If you would like to be on the Prestige Living Podcast or know someone that would be a great guest, go to www.prestigelivingpodcast.com. We'd love to hear your story.